Welcome to the 2021 school year into Colony High School, where it's never a bad thing to be in the principal's office. Why don't you pull up a chair, grab a seat, and let's spend a little bit of time together. Thank you for joining me and welcome back, Colony, to the 2021 school year. I'm so glad you're here and I look forward to sharing with you some great things. But before we get started, I'd like you to take a look at this video that I used to kick off the 2021 school year. I hope you enjoy it. Hey, Colony High School, it's the 2021 school year, and I am so excited to get this one going. 2019 didn't end quite the way we wanted it to. 2020 is opening not quite the way we wanted to. However, we are going to do the best to make this a school year that rocks. So join me as we go through this introductory video to the 2021 school year. Hello, Colony High School. We can't have an introductory video without being able to introduce some of the most important people on this campus. As you know, I'm Mr. Mitchell, I'm your principal, but I'm gonna to bring to you four people that will be of great assistance to you. And they always know at Colony, we do everything with. Hi, I'm Dr. Bud, Assistant Principal of Achievement. I cover freshman success, no D's, no F's, making sure our kids are A through G eligible upon graduation from Colony. And I'm here to help you socially, emotionally, and academically to make sure you are strong. Hi, my name is TJ Fiorenza. I'm the new assistant principal of Ed Services here at Colony High School. Uh, I'm in charge of uh, activities, athletics, and the facilities here on campus. Hi, I'm Mr. Ivan, I'm the assistant principal of instruction. My office works with scheduling, with guidance, uh, and with, with classroom instruction. Uh, we work to make sure that you have everything you need for your academic endeavors. Hello Titans and welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. My name is Mr. Jeffrey and I'm your Assistant Principal of Discipline at Colony High School. I know you hear that word discipline, you think, oh my gosh, I don't want to ever have to talk to this guy. But I'm really here to help you be successful to make this the most meaningful year of your educational life. One thing I always tell students is, my job is not to discipline you, it's to give you the self-discipline so you don't get disciplined. I'm here to listen, but most importantly, I'm here to care for you and to help you. March 13th, 2020, we closed our school down, but that doesn't mean we're not getting it prepared for you. From the state of the art theater to the beautiful quad, we cannot wait to have our students back and you will come back because I'd love for you to be able to see your hallways. Titans, this is Principal Mitchell. I am so excited for this year and what this year could bring to all of us. 2019 was a little different. 2020, we're going to make it the best we possibly can. My guarantee to you is no barriers because Titans, as a mythical God, you stand above all others and we are going to rise to be the best that we possibly can. So let's make 2021 a fantastic school year. you calling Titan is that this year, the 2021 school year, we will have no barriers because your achievement is important to me. It should be important to you because I believe we can achieve. Hey, that's great. No, it's been a super start over here. Things have gone very smooth. Distance learning is working out the best that it can be. Got a couple bumps in the road, but hey, I got to go. My parents are back. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Hey, and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that video. At last check, we had a little over 1.2 thousand views, which for a school of our size, that's really impressive. In the video, I introduced my administrative staff as well as your student's counselor. If you're still not sure who your student's counselor is, take a look at their schedule. It's notated on their fourth period. At the end of the video, I stated my intentions of not letting barriers stand in our way for this school year, and that I also believe that we can achieve. I want to tell you that last year, Colony High School reached new heights in two very imp important areas. The first one, freshman success, and the second, Colony graduates meeting A to G. 
By decreasing the percentage of freshmen who finish the school year with 45 or fewer credits to only 6.8%, we have ensured a higher chance for graduation and opportunities after high school for the class of 2023. The class of 2020 had a graduation rate at 93%, with 72.5% of those meeting A to G, which means they have satisfied an important step in meeting the minimal requirements for enrolling in a college or university. When I said I believe we can achieve, I meant it, and our data proves just that. Achievement, however, does not come easy. So please let me introduce you to some folks that make our success possible. Our district is one of the top high school districts in the state of California because of these well-serving trustee members. Arthur Bustamani, our longest tenured member, was elected in 1985 and has served all positions during his tenure. Gilson Dejas, elected in 2018, served our country in the United States Air Force. John Reinhardt, elected in 2014, served 20 years as a teacher, administrator, and adjunct professor. I ask that you remember the names of Sherry McGaugh and Sue Ovid. Both have served you well for 12 years and will be listed as incumbents on the November ballot. And Superintendent Dr. Matt Holton led us to the vision that your student will graduate college and career ready. Thanks to their leadership, Colony High School can take pride in serving your son and daughter because everything we do at Colony, we do with pride. Well, hello again. And I cannot tell you how blessed we are to have a board of trustees so dedicated to student safety and student achievement. I'm also extremely thankful for the work that Dr. Holton and his cabinet put forth in leading us to ensure that your kid graduates ready for college and career. Hey, I mentioned the successes for the class of 2020 and 2023. Don't think that I forgot about the class of 2021, 22, and 24. If you have a student in the class of 2021, I want you to know that we are doing everything we can to make sure that they have the best year possible. We are looking to start up student activities and possibly moving soon into phase one of co-curricular activities. Of course, the safety of our students and staff is number one, and thus we'll continue to follow the guidance of the County Department of Health. As things change, you are going to be the first to know. Of course, achievement is our number one goal for all of our students. So in the classroom, I encourage you to make sure that your student is logging into Canvas during our distance learning model schedule on a daily basis. If you need a Chromebook, come to school and we'll get one for you. If you need help with logging in, let us know and we'll assist you. If you need tutoring, we will soon have after school tutoring set up. And for all students who need to remediate courses for A to G, we will soon have after school options. Check your Canvas announcements for further details. On September 3rd at 6.30 p.m., there will be a virtual parent tech webinar to assist all of you parents with all things distance learning. A flyer will be attached in a posted announcement coming soon. I understand the frustrations and the hardships relative to the pandemic and the struggles of a distance learning model. If you feel that your student needs someone to talk to, please don't hesitate to reach out to their counselor or even myself. On some days I have open Zoom meetings, so make sure that your students check those announcements for that open Zoom. I'd love for them to come and say hi to me. I have also attached a flyer in a posted announcement for cost-free 24-hour support from South Coast Community Services. They are a strong community partner for our district. Hey, it's about that time for you to go check out your students' classes, but before I go, let's take a quick check on campus to see what this distance learning model actually looks like on a daily basis. I hope you enjoy this. Well, welcome into the quad at Colony High School. This is a regular distance learning model school day where typically I would see students and staff members strolling across the campus. It's beautiful, however, it's vacant. Going into the buildings, it's a bit surreal seeing the teachers teach knowing students are virtually engaged, yet the halls and desks are empty. Prior to starting with the hybrid learning model, we will of course arrange each classroom to ensure social distancing for both students and staff. We even have some classrooms where it's completely dark as the teacher is remotely teaching from home. Whatever the case, we are dedicated to making sure your student has access to a rigorous level of instruction and can engage in higher level thinking skills. What we ask of you as the parent is to make sure on every school day, your student actively participates in the 90 minutes for each class. The distance learning model is not the same as what took place last spring during the emergency shutdown. In this model, each day students are accountable for attendance, schoolwork, and assessments. Progress grades will be posted within the next two weeks on either Canvas or our ARIES portal accounts. 
If you need help with accessing either system, please call the office and we will assist you. On Monday, it's required for students to log in at 12.15 p.m. to meet with their second period teacher where meaningful dialogue will take place for at least 20 minutes. Also on Mondays, counselors and teaching staff are available for All Things Colony, so please feel free to reach out to us. Our hope is that soon we can move into the hybrid model where students and staff will be on campus. With safety being paramount, let me give you a look at what safety measures we have in place. As we open the school year, safety is our number one priority. All staff members participate in a screening process, which includes two questions. Has anyone in your home had COVID-19 symptoms or a positive COVID test? And have you experienced any COVID symptoms within the last 24 hours? If there is an answer of yes to either question, the stakeholder will not enter the building and is asked to return home. If no to both, they proceed with the screening process where their temperature is checked using our state-of-the-art thermal recognition camera. While walking, all will remain socially distanced and have their temperature recognized by the camera and monitored by our nurse or nurse's assistants. I am pleased to say that over 90% of our student body have experienced this screening process, which will be used when returning to hybrid learning. If a temperature reads 100.4 or higher, that person will be asked to go to an isolation area where further screening will take place. For those visiting, our front office has very similar protocols. For many, we will be able to assist you outside. However, if needing to enter, you will be asked the same two questions and will then have your temperature taken using our temperature reading kiosk. If your temperature is below 100.4, you will then be cleared to enter the building. I thank you for partnering with us as we strive to be perfect in the area of student, staff, and stakeholder safety. Well, that was interesting, isn't it? It is absolutely surreal to look at this campus during a distance learning day. Well, as you know, I've mentioned, safety is number one, and it's an area that we're going to work to be perfect in. Soon, I hope all of my staff and your student will be back when it's safe for the hybrid learning model. You will, of course, be hearing from Dr. Holton and myself prior to us opening our campus. Until then, take care of you and your family and know that I love you. At this time, please have your students show you where their teachers have placed their recorded messages for their class. If I can assist you, please give me a call or send me an email. Thanks for coming to visit, and again, welcome back to school. Colony is lucky to have you.